All right, book review time again. Book of the day is The Book of Mastery by Paul Selig. This is an absolutely amazing book. This is one of the best books that I think I've ever read. I don't want to over-exaggerate this. And I would put this in the categories of self-help, spiritual development, personal development. And it's honestly a book unlike anything I've ever read before. I would compare this to The Law of One. I talk about The Law of One a lot. And that was also a channeled text. So this is a channeled text by Paul Selig. I'll just read the back uh, first just to give you a little idea of what it's about. But also, I don't know if the back description really does a great job of describing what the book's really about and what you gain for it. So then I'll explain that a little of that after. So it says, The first book in Chandler, Paul Selig's widely anticipated mastery trilogy, leads you into an unprecedented journey of self-development, at once building your personal excellence and your ability to improve life for others. And that definitely gives a decent explanation of it. But, so this is written by, or, so it's a channeled literature from Paul Selig, who receives clairaudient dictation from unseen intellects called the guides and is quickly becoming it's it's really so Paul gets his information I guess from these unseen entities called the guides who are far more just aware far more knowledgeable than us but it really is our higher self at a deeper level this stuff is definitely honestly unexplainable I would I would just read the book but it's it's like you're you're on a journey when you're reading this book. I think I read this book over the last couple of weeks and what they what they tell you in the journey is that you're climbing up a mountain and you're climbing up a mountain to master yourself to find out who you truly are and the guides make it very clear about the truth of who you are that you are the divine self, you are the light, you are all that there is and that is ever present in every single person. And they also make the distinction between who you think you are, your personality self, your small self, which is basically at the bottom of this mountain, which is trapped in this little box of what you know, and the divine self that you basically meet and know as you climb up this mountain, as you ascend, as you raise in vibration. And I would give this book rating out of 10, I'd give it a 9.9. .9. Really, I don't think I've found a more powerful spiritual slash self-development personal help text out there. It's about 360 pages, and it's decently long, but it's very e it's a very easy read. But what's not easy is actually taking the information and applying it, which is something that I'm still doing in my life. And it's an ongoing journey, as it says. And it's also crazy for me to think about that. At the end of the text, the guides basically tell Paul, they say, and the reader, that they have so much more to share. And he's written so many more books, or channeled so many more books, after this that when I was like two thirds of the way through the book, I bought like three more of his books because it was just so life changing, so amazing, the information that is coming through. So if any of this sounds interesting for you, if any of if you're on a spiritual journey, personal development, self help, I would highly recommend this book. I'm not sure how I would have reacted to it if this was like the first spiritual or self help book that I read. So I don't know if this is something because there were there were a lot more books. I think there were like three or four books that he wrote prior to this. So I was receptive to the information in this because I had already read a lot of books and been on this journey for about a couple of years now that the information, I kind of knew it already. I had read it in other books. I had learned it through meditating, through introspection. But it's really a life-changing book for anybody who's kind of looking for more, who is really trying to find your true self, trying to find that divine as you that goes through you. And it's it's honestly, I don't even know if it's a relief, but it's amazing to know that through reading this book that you're not the only one on this journey, that you might think that you're climbing the mountain alone. You might think that you're all alone on this journey, but you're not. There's Everybody's walking beside you, and you're always being helped. You always have these unseen guides, whether you want to call them angels or spirits or forces that are helping you that want to teach you they want to help you but you have to be open to it you have to be willing to it and a huge requirement for reading this text and actually having it be of any use for you is the ability to apply the information that you're being given
because you're basic what you're basically doing is shifting your entire paradigm letting go of all the baggage you carry letting go of all the fear and stuff that keeps you weighed down which is what keeps you from really truly being your divine self from being your higher self we're trapped in all these lower vibrational lower vibrational attitudes we don't see other people as we see ourselves I know we think that we do, but we don't see the divine in others that is the same divine in ourselves. And that's all I'll say for this book for now. I would highly recommend this book, The Book of Mastery by Paul Selig, channeled text, 9.9 .9 out of 10. Don't know if you could do any better, but then again, I'm going to start reading another one of his books, so maybe it will beat it. Honestly, life-changing, life-altering, paradigm-shifting text. I, I hope you check it out.